So here we are on how to update Java on Windows, the simple version. So from your desktop, sometimes you'll get this juCheck.exe wants to do something. And you have no idea what the heck it is. If you click on the details, it might actually give you a clue that it has something to do with Java. If you ever get those, go to the, and you're not sure what it is, click on details, it might give you a little clue. And you can hit continue to go on with installing Java this way, but it doesn't always work. Um, I'm not sure if there's a browser problem or it could be your, your antivirus will block it. Sometimes you also get this Java update available icon. So the best way of doing this to avoid uh, trauma with your antivirus or your firewall and to be sure that you've done it right is to actually go to the website itself from Java and download the update that way. So just fire up your favorite uh, internet uh, browser. In this case, I'm using IE, Internet Explorer. And in the address bar, just type in www.java.com. It's www.java.com. And the good folks at Oracle have made this nice and easy for you. Right on the front page, it'll say free Java download. So just click on that. And it'll start the, uh, it'll take you to another page. And on that page, you just click agree and start free download. Pretty straightforward for that part. Then when it asks you, do you want to run or save, you want to click run. So just click run. And if you get asked, do you want to continue, click continue. And then click install. At this point, you're just downloading the installer. You're not even installing Java yet. So you wait for your computer to download the installer. And you wait. And it's actually doing something. But you wait. And you wait. And you wait. Yep. It's still doing something in the background. And then you get the just Java setup thing. So make sure you uncheck install the ask toolbar because it's a pain. And then click go ahead. And then you should get a notice about close browsers to continue. So just click, uh, I closed it in Explorer, but you can just click browsers and continue. And then you get this little screen. So now you are actually at the point where you're installing Java. How quickly it does this will depend on how fast your computer is. If it is taking a very, very long time, you probably need a tune-up. So now it says it's finished installing it. And it's doing something in the background. Of course, it's not showing you anything, but it is actually doing something in the background. And you wait for it to kind of wake up. And then it should kind of go into uh, go into your browser to let you know. Oh, wait here. Yeah, you have successfully installed Java. So you click clear or close. And then I'll go into your browser. And here you can click verify Java version. The reason why you want to do this is to make sure everything's worked OK. You may have to allow this through your antivirus or your firewall. So you probably might get asked a question about allowing it to continue. Sometimes it takes a while for that message to come up. Again, it depends on how fast your computer is. Here we go. So you want to see, do you run this application? Say run. And now you see we've got it asking, do you want to allow Java to work? So if you click the little arrow beside that, you have a security option here. And you want to be super safe, just click allow for this website. And there you see again, at the, at, at the time I've made this video, the latest version is Java version 7, update 21. Now, if you click uh, other downloads, you can do, uh, if you have a lot of machines to update, you can download the Windows offline. And just a note for any Mac users who've wandered in here, uh, the, the version they only allow to work on Mac is if you've got 10.7.3. 
So why are we doing all this? Well, Java is one of the biggest security holes on any computer, and most of the malware that's out there on websites is using Java. The reason why is that nobody seems to update it. As this Security Labs blog goes through in depth, all the different versions of Java that people are running make it very easy for malware writers to attack them. Something like 94% of all browsers are running an old version of Java, which is vulnerable to malware. So it's pretty easy picking. So if you were in business and you'd had a 94% chance of succeeding, you go, yep, I like this Java thing a lot. So be sure to update all your computers.